Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy Ray of Amy Ray Plans. I'm working with a new filming setup. This is only my second time using it, so I apologize for any errors. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm having um, a lot of pain in my hip, but I really wanted to do some filming. So this video is my um, planner stack for 2022. However, a bunch of these planners, um, not a bunch, but a few of these planners um, only go up to June. So what I'm going to do is share with you a flip through of how I've been using them. These two planners that we're going to talk about first are actually going to be in their own separate video. So this is my Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. I've been using a Vertical Life Planner since 2011. I just changed this cover. I really love this one and it reminds me of spring with all the bright colors. So um, I think before you see this video, you'll see my June and February completed spreads in here. And um, today is, or today is, hold on, I'll share with you a sneak peek. So it's currently April 3rd and once this week ends, um, the current week, I will be filming my March spreads, so that'll be up in April as well. So that will be its own video. And then this planner is my Cali Danielle planner. This ends in June, and I will have a flip through, oh, a flip through up. I have a flip through up of the start of the planner till I think October. Um, so you'll see on um, November through March, that video is going to be coming soon as well. Next up is, let's go into these two planners. These two planners, I won both of these in two different giveaways. This one is the Erin Condren Daily Duo in this size right here, the A5. So I love this planner. I'm just making sure I'm in frame. Let me put these to the side for a minute. So I love this planner. Um, I love the daily. I've been using the petite system. Oh yeah, let me show that. So I've been using the petite system. This is the April through June. So I just started this one. So we have Friday, Saturday, and today is the third. And you'll see a flip through of my January through March. That is another video that'll be coming soon. Um, I just love this planner. It's a little bulky because um, I've been adding like a bunch of stuff in the same places. But um, I really want to get this one uh, when, it when the new planners launch. I want to get the Daily Duo for the second half of this year and then the first half of next year. I don't really use um, these pages functionally in this planner because I have my other one, but I do use these pages. Um, when I first started out, I just started with colored pen and just minimal stickers. And then you'll see as we go in, I use some mild liners. I really like using them in here. I actually got this idea from Desiree of Desiree Plans on Instagram and YouTube. I love her channel and her content. She's just doing a flip through. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to pick up planners at launch because um, I, I'm not sure yet. I don't want to say no. I did not get chosen for the to re be to have the planners to review ahead of time. Um, so you won't see a review on my channel, but when those reviews do go up, I will share my friends that, um, were selected. I'll share their Instagram and, um, YouTube links so you can, um, check out all their goodies. Um, I love this. This is a little sticker sheet from Erin Condren. This was my cat's 14th birthday and it was Valentine's Day. So I did like a two page spread for that. Some just random stickers, again, some Mayo liners, lots of kit leftovers. I really like how I did this birthday. All these um, stickers are from Erin Condren. Um, 
And I'm not an hourly person, so I don't always use the hours how they're intended. Sometimes I cover it up with stickers or labels. Sometimes I leave them blank. If I have an appointment, um, I might put that in. Um, but other than that, I don't really let the hours dictate my life. I did um, reach out and say that I would love... Um, Hold on. I would love the petite layout in this planner because you would get this layout and you wouldn't have to worry about the hours. So I would love to see if they make that an option in the future. Um, some leftover washi. Again, some Erin Condren stickers. I love these um, Ryan Gosling stickers from Design Pandemonium. Um, and I was just like hoarding the sheets, so I decided to put it in here. But they're really... Um, silly like planner things with the hey girl ryan meme that was going around um this is like a mini kit that i decided to use in here i really love how these two pages came out using a kit that i wasn't going to use in my main planner so i used it in here And then we're into April again. I really don't put a lot into the notes pages on here. Um, these are from Study Girl Doodle. So then this is the current day. Um, I'm using an older Caress Press Kit. And then we have some Planner Kate stickers that I got in a D-Stash. Some Christy Ann Design and Scribble Prints Co. Another kit. And then I have a kit just laid out for um, in here. And I think that's the only kit left I have laid out. Oh, no. And then I have this one, which was a sticky essentials kit for around the time the planner ends. So the last day for this is June 30th. So as of now, I don't know if I will have, like what's gonna happen at lunchtime um, in relation to me being able to buy anything, but I will keep you updated. And obviously if I do buy anything, I will share that in a haul. I love this cover and I'm really excited because I have an A5 notebook too that this would look great on. I love the A5 size. Um, I'll ne I don't think I'll ever get out of the um, seven by nine, but I would love to have like these two. And then one last one is another one I want in a giveaway and it is a plum paper. I had never used any of their products before. I um, on my channel, um, I did an unboxing where I won a huge box of goodies on National Planner Day. I won their Instagram giveaway, and this was one of the planners that was sent to me. Um, again, it only goes through, is it through July? Yeah, okay. So, no, wait, hold on. No, it, uh, yeah, okay. So this, that's where I got confused. The, um, Erin Condren A5 Daily that I won goes through June and this goes through July. Um, so I love plum paper now. I this is the only product I have from them, but I do have a bunch on my wish list. Um, however, I don't know when I'll be able to get any of that. But what I do want to say is they have a ton of different customizable options. This is the name of this one is a vertical priorities. So this, these and this I added. So let me see if I have a page where I didn't add any stickers at all. Hold on. Okay, so here. This is July 4th through July 10th, one of the last weeks in this planner. And like I said, this one's called a vertical priority. So you have a priority section, a to do today section. Um, this is like a habit tracker section right here. And I like this, but I think if I were to get a plum paper, I would definitely want to try their daily. Um, and I love their covers. This cover isn't repositionable um, because, uh, probably because it was for the giveaway. But I love that they have this protective sheet. I know that some people don't love it, but I like it. Um, 
I decorated this with some die, this is a vinyl die cut, and then these are just sticker, these are die cuts that I like um, glue taped on, but this is like an actual vinyl sticker, and those are all from Scribble Prints Co. These are from Loom Daily Planner. Again, I wasn't really using the um, notes pages in here. Um, what I would like to see change is for this to actually be a piece of paper because it's like cardstock and um, a lot of pens will smudge. So when I first started it, I was just really using it as a to-do list and like mentioning like small things or that I did. Um, but then... I started adding more and more stickers, and this started in August of 2021. Um, here I use the monthly a little bit. Um, just lots of pen. I really like this. I love this. Really, really love how this came out. Just using kit leftovers, mini kits. Um, I just think it's super fun. And I definitely want to shop from them in the future. Not sure when I will be able to, but um, definitely love their products. And actually, the one thing I was going to mention is I don't love their paper, because or this paper, because um, stickers, even removable stickers, um, they rip the paper when you get them up. But um, Julie of Julie Plans, highly recommend her channel, um... She just got a vertical, or no, I think she got a daily, but she tested out like Christy Ann Design stickers, Planner Kate, and then I think like one other shop, and all the stickers came off without um, problems. So I don't know if they've changed their paper, but I guess it's been rectified. So I'm just doing a flip through. One of my friends, Kay, um, wanted to see how I was using all my different planners. And shout out to Kay. She's actually the one that sent me um, the tool that I am using to film on. Really love how I use these Chris Ann Design stickers. Nothing wants you like the stickers you didn't buy. How true is that? Just added a sticker onto there. So like I said, it's not my main planner. Um, but I do really like it. I am sad that it's going to be ending. Like I said, I'm not sure what my planner stack will look like for the rest of the year. I'll obviously have my Erin um, Condren Vertical and my Erin Condren Petites because I have that through the rest of the year. And then the next planner I'll share with you, um, I also have for the rest of the year. And then this is next week. And I'll just share with you some more pages. These are all Chrissy Ann Design stickers. And then we're into May. We got some Study Girl Doodle and Chrissy Ann Designs. Scribble Prints Co. And then we're into June. Older Scribble Prints Co. kit. Um, this is Caress Press. And then in July, I don't think I have any stickers yet. Okay, so again, really love this company. This is the first product I've ever had by them. Oh, I don't know how that got there. And then these stickers on the back are Bloom Daily Planners as well. And then the last planner I am using, this planner, this is the Flora Agenda. I received this planner, I think, in September. Hold on, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. I think this planner I received in September, and it was part of um, a collaboration. Um, I was sent products to review from the Erin Condren team. Um, I would love if they came out with this without the inserts, because I would love to pick up the mid-century circles in this. And then this is how I have it set up. I have some gift cards um, from Starbucks. I have this super cute little card from Grin and Barrett Plans, which is one of my favorite sticker shops. I have this paper clip from Fox and Pip. And then I have 
this little Once More With Love die cut. Then I took this from a file of facts planner that I had gifted to my mom and put it in here. And then on this page, we have a sticker from the Honeybee Shop, this vinyl or this bow sticker from Scribble Prince Co. And this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So this is January and February. And I just started, the, let me, let me move, ooh, hold on. And I am not a rings fan. I found that out. That is why I gifted that file of axe. Um, I had a flora pink, hot pink file of axe and I gifted it to my mom because I am not a big rings fan, which is why I want to get the daily duo in the coil. I tried it out. Um, I, I wouldn't have bought the rings if it was, um, me picking out the planner, but I do like that I was able to try it out. So I just started off with lots of colored pens. I used the um, the ones from Erin Condren. Then I added in some Maya liners. I'm just trying to make sure I'm in frame, I'm trying to get used to this. We have some Planner Kate stickers, some Chrissy Ann designs. Let me move this up just a we have some Scribble Prince Co., more Planner Kate, more Mild Liners. Then we're into February. And I really like how I used these little sticker sheets from Erin Condren. More leftovers. Another sticker sheet from Erin Condren. And then this one is also from Erin Condren. And as you can see, I started getting more decorative with it. All right, and that's January and February. And then right now it is April. So after I share this video with you, I'm gonna take March out. I like to have three months at a time in here. So this is March. This was a kit from Design Pandemonium. This was a kit from Caress Press. Some stickers from Chrissy Ann Designs. Maya Liners, Erin Condren stickers, Chrissy Ann Designs. I love this weekend banner. Um, a Caress Press kit. Some Chrissy Ann Designs boxes. And then that is March. Hold on. And then let me get, I just pulled out my June. So then we have April. And then in here, I put this little pouch that came in the File Facts Planner. Um, and I just put a sticker on a post post-it note because I had wanted to keep the sticker and then this is from Scribble Prints Co. And then we have May and then I will put in July and I don't have the I don't have the back decorated or anything but there is a pen loop there. Um, I guess you could put something here. A notepad would fit in there. But this stays at home, so I just use it decoratively. And then close it up. And yeah. So this planner, I have the inserts for the whole year. I will have my petite planner. And I will have my vertical. So these are all Erin Condren planners. Not sure if I'll be picking up what what it'll look like after launch. Um, I definitely really wanna try to get the Daily Duo. Um, so I will keep you guys all up to date with that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions or comments you have below. I hope the filming of this is okay. Like I said, I'm trying to get used to my new setup. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.